everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. He's Rick Burr. I'm Chance Sabalski. Just moments away from Cup Drop. We'll send him down to Ringside Race Four. Between the pipes, it would be a critical area tonight, Razor. You've got to get into the upper goal this space. Both teams have talked about it. You've got to get into the second shot. Really, it comes down to will. How can you force the other team to Just moments away from Cup Drop, both teams seem ready to go. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while, and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. And that goes off a player in front. Rochester's gained possession along the boards. Right in front. Good hit. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it to Letty. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. Slides it across. Let's it fly. And that clangs off the iron. Quick pass to Farmer. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. United saw the attack. Into the corner of the attacking area. The Highlanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Rochester's grabbed a hold of the puck. Takes it from the right side. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh! chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Halifax has it near the wall. Takes the return feed. Lindbergh's moving the puck through his own zone. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Takes the feed. Kasparaitis takes it along the wing. On the attack along the boards. Now a quick pass. Score! Shot! I never had much of a one-timer. That one right there is a bullet. He takes the pass, times it well, and hammers it home. United's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. Kuhnhockel's got it along the wing. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Heinen. And they'll dump it in. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Here's a chance, misses a golden opportunity there. Oh man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just gonna play a tight box. They look exhausted. From the slot, stopped by the goaltender. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Rochester's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Oh, great read! Rochester's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. And now he tries to get it across to Murray. Murray's got it in the offensive zone. United's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves the puck. Moves it quickly over to Gossier. Tries to get the puck over to Mulgan. Mulgan's got it on the offensive end. Shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Past the halfway mark of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Directs it on over to Pedersen. And it's a quick pass to Porter. Let's it fly. And he comes up with it. Rochester's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it over to Pullock. Good hit on the play. 
United's got to hold him it against the wall. Big save. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Here in the dying moments of this period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. Hamilton's won the draw. And now he moves it to Porter. Standing tall with the save. Here they come on the attack. Puts the puck on net. Takes it right in the chest. Rochester's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the steal. Theodore's going to play it against the half wall. Takes a shot. He scores. Well, I like the way they stayed aggressive here, James, after scoring once. They didn't just settle the game down. They went after it again. Well, that screen looked like it was just about perfect, didn't it? He doesn't even react as this puck goes by him. Rochester's lead now extends to two as they make their way back to center ice here. Probably a little surprising. It's not more than two, James. They've had the majority of shots on goal and the majority of the dangerous chances. Along the half wall with the puck. From point blank range. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Carries it in. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. And he slides it quickly to Theodore. Slides the puck over. Makes it look easy with a glove. Rochester's got the lead here late in this first period. Good job tangling up his opponent here. With the bank pass. Feeds it over to Bernier. Quick shot. And it's in. He scores. Uh, the release beats the goalie here, but there's a good break, too, as the puck hits the post and goes in. Seemed like everybody stopped for a little bit there, James. When it hit the pipe, they weren't sure, but it's in the net so quickly off the post and in. Rochester's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. Rochester goal, scored by number 12, assisted by number 55, and by number 61. Device period two is set to go. Great start for one side, a disaster for the other. What does period number two offer? Let's find out as we're underway here. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update of what your assessment is to this point. The Highlanders just haven't done anything right. They say sometimes you gotta look for the light at the end of the tunnel. Right now for them, it's an oncoming train. Rochester's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Uses the force on that hit. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. Unloads from the blue line. Somehow knocked away by the goalie on that one. made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Rochester's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. 
Villegas won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. Here's a shot. That's off a stick. Oh, he looks like he's banged up there. He's going to try and finish the shift, but he's pretty clearly not at 100%. Oh, a clutch save! Meech is sharp to make that stop. Looks to get the puck over to Theodore. Slides the puck across to Brown. They've got numbers. Leads into him. Wow, did he ever. And maybe somebody got the alarm clock to wake them up on the bench. They're getting blown out tonight. Finally, a little bit of a response. Quick pass to Hamilton. Halifax has it. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Lindbergh. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Quick feed down low. Quick feed to Arvidsson. Handles the puck at the point. With some momentum driving towards the net. Big time stop! Gets a blocker on it. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Receives the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Pullock. Moved into the middle. And that's blocked. Here's a chance in front. He scores! Now it's only a two-goal game. Also gets progressively better for them. to receive that pass, and then he one time to pass the goaltender. The Highlanders seem to have shaken off that funk here, Ray. They had to get going a lot better than they had earlier in this contest, now down by two. Puck scooped up by Pilot. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Denies him! Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! Big time stop there! And he was slowed up. Hooking looks to be the call as the official's arm goes up in the air. Pedersen's going off for hooking. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. Rightly so. Halifax gets set to go to work on the power play for the first time tonight. Here's their first power play of the night, James, and they can be patient on it. They want to get the good shot, not just start firing puck after puck at the net. Nine minutes, 43 seconds. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Highlanders are down a pair. Morse won it off the faceoff. Moves it to Carrier and manages to clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Bertuzzi's carrying it ahead. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. More than half the frame has been played here. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Oh, and a huge save! And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! Aho's got to know right before he takes this hit that he's going to get run over. the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent and he slides it quickly to pull off great heads up play by the defender and now it's over to pull off sends a pass over puts it high and a stick in the lane ends that threat gets it out of his own end time running out on this power play they've got one last chance here slides it over to farmer the Highlanders power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. 
Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. There he is. He's got a step. Tremendous stop on the breakaway. Doesn't matter what kind of move that was. The goalie was all over it. Handles the puck. Whoa. He scores. What a shot. That's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. Rochester's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still, they have scored almost at will tonight. Goal. Scored by number 39. By number 50. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Bernier. Great defensive play to break it up. Rochester's got control of it now from their own end. Dumoulin's got it across the line. Back to the blue line. And a great save. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Here in the late going of the frame, Rochester's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Hamilton's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Pedersen. Halifax will play it from behind the net. And he can't hang on after that hit. Moves it to Jost. And now he angles it across to Arvidsson. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Moved out in front. Takes a shot with the stop. Takes the pass from the boards. Slides the puck to Goldobin. Goldobin's got it into offensive territory. Slides it diagonally to Lindbergh. Tries to get it over to Arvidsson. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it over, and the redirect goes awry. Now he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. That's a bit of a brain lock there. They got the lead. Don't make a dangerous play. Horn sounds to end the second period. Two periods now in the books. One more still to come. And we're sitting at 4-1. Fans tonight are world famous play fees dropping. $50 gift certificate. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Halifax has to continue playing in the same form that they have for much of the first 40 minutes. Have the puck a lot. Four check well. But somebody find a way to score. I want another look at that. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, good work, guys. Good work, Brannigan. Getting this thing right. What a stop by the goaltender. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. Passes over to Bertuzzi. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. job tying up his opponent. Gets it over to Kasparitis. Look out, a two-on-one. And that's picked off in front. Bertuzzi's moving it ahead. Right in the slot. Denies him with the pad. Sends the pass over. Oh, what a glove save. The Highlanders have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass Whoa. to Porter. And the defenders come up with the puck. Lindbergh's got it against the boards. Puts it on net. A rocker off the blocker. Here's a short pass to Porter. Over the line they come. Here's a chance, right in the slot, 
takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Takes the feed. And now he tries to get it across to Jost. Halifax looks to attack. Takes a shot. And that one's turned away. Moves it around along the half wall. Here he is in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Picks off the feed. And now he moves it to Rowney. Slides it back to the blue line. Kuhnhockel's got the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick feed to Ryan. And that one's broken up. Sherwood swooping in on the attack. Strong defensive effort. Across the point. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery, he got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. Now a quick pass to Rowney. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. With possession along the wall. Shot, that's blocked. Pedersen swinging the puck through center ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Carries it across the line. Let's it go. Gets in front of it. Oh, what a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. And now it's over to Brown. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. There's the physical side. Takes that pass back at the point. Great glove save! Oh, sometimes you think you got lots of room to make a move. Not there. He got closed down and hammered. What a hit. Halifax has had more shots tonight, but that hasn't translated into the goal scoring department as they trail in the third. Takes it across the blue line. United's got the puck against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Halifax will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. And that carries off a stick. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Well, we get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Moore's got it on the offensive end. 17 minutes, 34 seconds. On the attack along the boards. Picking up some steam at center ice. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Here in the later stages of this period, and it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point, it's 4-1. Moves it to Rowney. Nice pass back. Theodore's got it along the wing. Takes the pass. Brownie's got it in the offensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. No need to be risky with the puck when your team's winning the game. And manages to clear the zone. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Quick pass to Lindbergh. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Heinen. Too much congestion in front. And now he angles it across to Heinen. Takes a slap shot from the point, and that one's broken up. He's going to need some help here. He's pretty clearly struggling on the ice. Banged up in this shift somewhere. Just wants to get the puck out to center ice and get the heck off the ice. The Highlanders get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. It really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Pilots dragging it along the line. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction.
Pilot's been looking for the door here to get off the ice after he was injured in the middle of this shift. Halifax is running out of time late in this third period as they continue to trail. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Denies him with a save. It is all over. Really good game for them. I thought they played well in several different segments of the game, including their face-offs, where they controlled the puck a lot. And, and also in the defensive zone, in addition to the offensive zone. Once there, they right? get the puck clean, they were able to get it out of the zone, and they did a nice job. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.